The heavenly dust returned to its maker, leaving in its place a blanket of sadness that covered Santa Destroy. Then the sun returned, and with it, deafening gunfire and clanking swords, the battles had resumed. <sighs> Demons disguised as men, running wild in an orgy of ultraviolence, as if to purge their souls of the hatred that blighted them. I have set up the next ranking fight. Where are you? I don't care who the fuck it is. Just give me someone to fight. You sound passionate. What's gotten into you? Someone killed Bishop! I understand. Wait for me at Burger Suplex. She doesn't really understand. She thinks it's huh. like Bishop the X-Men character. God. And he's getting really bent out of shape. Oh my like, god! He'll be back in like three months. Like his whole thing is timelines. Calm down, Travis. Oh my god. My best friend is dead, but... Bishop said, "Cat, cat's fat. Cat <laughs> my has... whole life is falling apart. I have a fat cat. My cat has gone. To... Oh my god. Oh, my cat's fat, and my bishop's dead. My bishop and my cat. I don't know what I can do you have about to this. The cat first. Oh, I'm gonna lift my cat. Oh, I forgot, yeah, you don't have any money, so you cannot feed the cat. I cannot feed the cat. I am broke. So I'm just gonna lift the hell out of my cat and somehow burn calories. If you were to feed the cat, you would go into debt. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to America. Love it or leave it. Oh god, let's see how many times I can lift my fat-ass cat. <laughs> I do not understand how this is gonna make the cat thinner. Oh, 11! Yeah! My only idea is that you lose weight lifting the fat cat, which then inspires the fat no, cat. No, 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 I just vaporize half a pound off my cat. <laughs> so yes, the stupid minigame is what Suda51 touted in interviews as even better and more realistic than uh, Electronics, Electronic Arts Pets 2 series. Um, this is probably true. It Honestly, yeah. Alright, so the way this works is her mood is kitty smiley faces. You feed her more to increase mood. Every exercise you do decreases one mood. There you go. Yep, and the greater her mood is, the more weight you lose per activity. Now, which one are you best at? Massage. I'm saving that for when she's got five cat heads. Okay. I was terrible, always terrible at jump. I could... Yeah, jump is hard. We'll get to that soon, but... <laughs> well, let's do play. Yes. Because play is piss easy. <laughs> At least I understand how this is making the cat lose weight. Yeah. There's no real timing or anything, you just wiggle a lot, eventually the cat would jump on and punch it. Travis is just adorable, though, with the voice he uses with this cat. Mm -hmm. This is when he's at his most likable. Yeah. Almost half a pound. You've lost an entire pound. Wow. And yeah, you can buy different, three different types. Uh, regular gives you one cat head, gourmet gives you three, and premium gives you five. But we have no money, so we'll feed our cat later. 
Well, we jump the kitty. Uh, should we? Okay, I'll jump the kitty right now. Jump the cat. Show off jumping. Jumping is hard because it has a weird, weird timing. But if you get it just right, ah, uh, well, if you get it wrong, this is what happens. The cat catching it isn't so bad. It just really wastes time. You lose a lot of time. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 It makes like a Mario jumping noise. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the, the longer you wait before letting up on the button, the higher the cat jumps. Yep. But if you wait too long, there you go. Yeah. Also, when you. The perfect point to release it, uh, release appears under the A button, but it's really hard to do the game just with that because it appears like one frame before you're supposed yeah. to let go. There's also, um, like a little bell chime, but only it only does it for the first, uh, pull. Once you actually do it right, it won't make the bell noise anymore. I'm waiting to see if you do the best thing to do in Travis's apartment. Ugh. But I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Yes! Fuck this trash. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's better when you do the other one, though. Yeah. Oh, I guess we should look at clothes. Oh. Still got that that picture of Mary. Uh, there are a couple T-shirts. Travis strikes me as an ironic lapsed ca uh, Catholic. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing, but if it is, Travis is one. There's probably one around. So we have a couple of T-shirts, but we can't really see what the hell any of them are because his jacket is pulled in too close. Yeah, I hate the new jacket. Um, for that very reason. Yeah, so there is another jacket that's wide open, so we'll go if get that soon. If you could soon. combine, like, the new jacket back with the No More Heroes 1 jacket front, mm -hmm. that I would love that jacket. Yeah. Also, all the uh, Luchador masks that you could pick up in the first game, if, if you have those on your No More Heroes 1 save file, they will be in this game also. Nice. Uh, we got the shelf, which is where you learn new wrestling moves just by reading magazines. They just come in at certain points in the game. Twisted belly to back suplex. Special issue. I, I like that. I, I like that it just happens. You don't have to trigger it. Because I mean, there's new stuff to hunt for in the levels to make up for. It. Yep. So it's not like that oh. element is completely lost. Oh, oh. I just remembered. Um, This shelf, there's a whole bunch of CDs and there's like an old Nintendo 64 on there. Um, if you are running this game in an emulator, there's a hack to freely move the camera about. And if you get really close to the textures on the CDs, one of them is actually the album from the movie Wayne's World. They flat out <laughs> lifted the, the, the album cover and made it a texture. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's read Weekly Backdrops 02. Belly to back waist lock suplex special issue. The whole book is about that one thing. It's really intricate. Hey, wrestling is serious business. Wrestling. And I like Kick this door. I can just abuse the hell out of this door. It can make it fly think... right off the hinge. Ugh. Correct me if I'm wrong, it's been a while since I played, but the door and the uh, waste baskets are the only physics objects. Pretty like much, in the yeah. Whole game. Yep. Take that. <laughs> Fuck you, trash. All of his gross <laughs> tissues come out. Now do we want to do the TV right now or save it for no. later? Okay. We're, let's. Let... Yeah, I think we should save it. Let's go out on the town. We, we can't reveal all the mysteries of Travis's hovel all at once. <laughs> <laughs> it's whore time! Yeah! So just like No More Heroes 1, there are a whole bunch of side jobs, except the ones in this game are much more fun than the other one. Yes. And also, they give you two after every boss. I think we'll just do one in between, because they are fairly lengthy games. Um, Alright. So, the first one is Bug Out. Let's check it out. They eventually do stop coming, so like we'll catch up. Yeah. Yeah. We'll also be taking a look at the uh, new mini games that are in the HD remake of the first No More Heroes for the PS3. There's several of those. I'm excited. I haven't seen any of that stuff. They're all really dumb. I'm less excited. Well, I mean, they're funny, but they're just dumb. But anyway, Santa destroys Overrun with bugs, says this man with a giant gray beard. He's like Muscle Santa. I'm sad that the, the third-rate guy isn't here either. You just had this <laughs> crazy guy in his creepy white van. 
I do miss the old characters, but I like the new ones. I mean, yeah, it gives variety. It makes it feel like it more like a sequel than an expansion pack sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Exterminate all the bugs. Yes. So all of the new jobs are. 8-bit minigames. Yeah, they all play like old... And they're all fantastic. Old, crappy NES games, and it's great. Let's go! <laughs> yes! You got like a Ghostbusters pack on you, and you gotta suck up all the bugs. And they're, they're mostly... Uh, well, a good number of them are based on the actual minigames from the first one. Yep. Uh, bugs you can suck in around corners a little bit, it takes a little bit Unf longer. Unfortunately, there's no fabulous, um, lawn mowing equivalent. Oh, I wish there was lawn mowing still. Uh, grasshoppers just kind of walk around randomly. Uh, mice get scared well, they, of you. They have routes. Yeah. Like, mice get scared of you and they'll run away when you, get, when you get close to them, so it's easy to corner them, at least. Come here. Come here, mouse. Mouse? Mice aren't bugs. It's all vermin. Don't don't get pedantic. Okay. And yes, when there's only one uh yeah. thing left, it'll get scared and start moving really fast. And the score for all the different bugs just translate literally into how much money you make. Um, the amount of time you have left also makes more money, and there's a perfect bonus for all the mini games. Uh, for this one, it's just pick up all the bugs without dying. And the perfect bonus actually gets you a lot of money in the end. But wait, there's more! <gasps> Let's go! Come here, bugs. I'm gonna suck the hell out of you, bugs. There's yellow batteries to pick up, which just makes your vacuum suck up bugs from farther away. And also sucks them up faster. Which is really useful, especially if you're being cautious for the perfect and, you know, trying to get around corners. Yeah. Oh, come here, bug. When they attack you, they don't kill you. They just sting you and make you move really slow. Um, and you have to go... To fix that, you have to go pick up one of those purple pills that's on the top of the screen. I can't remember if the poison eventually kills you or if it just makes you move slow. Well, let's not find out. Let's not, because I want more money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's really tinny and awful, but you can tell it really is, like, Travis's voice at the same time. Yeah. Let's go! Bugs. You can also pick up these blocks to shoot bugs with, and it stuns them. And it lets... That is very useful later. Yep. Uh, once like, look there's... look at that giant motherfucker. Yeah. Come here, mice. Also, this red toolbox is an extra life. Hey! Uh, yep. Alright. So you can either use blocks to stun these- to stun the giant scorpions, or- also they shoot lasers. I don't know why. Or you can drop As these well green bombs. Uh, anything cut, caught in the bombs stuns them, and then you can suck them up really fast. You can't suck you... up the really big scorpions unless you have all three batteries, also. I was about to say that informational thing. Uh... I'm sorry. You can see the next thing. I don't know what the next thing is. I'll think of something, I all guess. Right. You're gonna have to make a list. <laughs> uh... Make a list of handy No More Heroes 2 facts. Yep. I'll try to get the jump on you. Oh, there's one bug left. Where's the bug? It's I uh, I got in the, the top corner over there. Oh, okay. Oh, there it is. Well, I got it with a block. Right where I said. All right. <laughs> this is where I always stopped, because, like, then, then I'd want to play the real game. <laughs> right. And now we're making quite a bit of money. Perfect bonus was 12,000. Our cat is going to be awesome. Cat's going to be blinged out. I'm going to bling out my cat. I'm gonna bedazzle my cat. 
pit my cat. Not literally, just make it look pretty sweet. I want that cat shining. You can just sit here forever right near this hallway and just suck up like half the bugs in the level. It's pretty handy. Come on. Oh. Also, pretty much all the music for all the 8-bit games is really good. Yeah, that, that is definitely a fact. I should have said that fact. Ah, oh, dang it. What other kind of facts are there, huh? Uh, Tell me a fact. Well, did you know that when it becomes nighttime uh -huh. in Santa Destroy, very dramatic things can occur? Wow, that is a fact. That's a fact I don't remember. Are you just making things up? I never said my facts had to be accurate or anything other than vague. Okay. I will accept this. Oh, that scorpion will not fit in that space. Yeah, that scorpion's always the hard one. And and also yeah. the one on top for the same reason. Yep, it, the one on top. You can't the... suck them through holes yeah. that aren't that big. Oh god, I got shot by a scorpion! So much for the perfect bonus, wah wah. But, another fact <gasps> is that the, the bugs don't respawn when you do. Thankfully. I think it, it's also so you don't just farm forever. Yeah. No, oh god, that bug also almost shot me. Get every bug but one, let it kill you, and get oh, every god. bug but one. Also, the, the giant scorpions can stab you. <laughs> Imagine that. <sighs> okay, let's go from the bottom this time. It's too bad I won't get the perfect bonus, because that's worth a lot on the final level. Like, almost 25,000, I think? That's a lot of t-shirts. I love how huge that cloud is. Yeah, it's giant. Let's get this one now. Uh, now, you, you can suck in the giant ones without stunning them in any way. It just takes forever. Yeah, it takes so long. But they can't shoot you when they're doing it. When you're doing it, right? Like, uh, no. They just yeah, very, this... very slowly get sucked up. Yeah. Unfortunately, that. Not unfortunately, but that last giant scorpion I sucked up. It's really annoying getting him because he. They won't fit through hallways and stuff, and those little girders on the wall are like two pixels long. And that's just enough to keep them- to keep you from sucking them up. So you have to stand on top of him to suck him up, which means he has to be stunned. It's the worst. Yeah. I could not- when I first played this game, I could not figure out for the life of me why I could not suck up one- that single scorpion. Dun dun dun! Oh. You, you lying fool! How dare Son you of a bitch. Travis Touchdown. Don't you know who I am? Aw. Uh, once you can zoom in, uh, in and out on the map, there's no point to it, though. I, honestly, I kind of miss driving around the shitty little town. I thought it was fun in a really I weird way. the way they changed things, because, like, in the first game, the town is completely explorable. You can walk anywhere or drive. Uh -huh. But when you go into places, it's just a menu with a backdrop, and they switched it around completely. <laughs> okay. The entire town is a menu with a backdrop, but when you go in places, you can walk around and look at yep. things. Same guys last time. Um, I don't think I ever mentioned this in the first game, in the first LP. But this guy's name is Mask De Uh. And he's actually, that's the nickname for the guy who designed all the t-shirts in the game, I think. <laughs> so is it literally supposed to be him, or is yeah. it just a reference to him? No, it's supposed to be literally him. Also, when he said all of his weird voice clips in the first game, it was actually him voicing all of them. Oh, that's, that's great. Yeah. But anyways, Let's get a we jacket so we can see our shirt. Old school jacket. It's the same, except, well, it's wide open. Actually, no, it also has a tiger pad on the back. But yeah, so let's get this jacket so we can actually see our stupid shirts. T-shirts. I guess we'll, we'll be taking uh, 
clothing suggestions from the thread again. Cause that was yeah. Fun. If anybody sees a shirt that they like and they want us to wear it or any other clothes, then just just like, post. If you have us. advanced knowledge of the game, I already know what you'll be asking for. Yeah, <laughs> we will be wearing that one entire outfit. Yeah, at least once. Yep. Uh, do you like any of these beginning shirts? I, I like the panda bear with the kiss eye. Uh, which color? Uh, white. Okay. I kind of like the shirts from the first game a little bit more. They seemed a little more out there. These shirts are still yeah. nice, though. Um, there are a couple later on that I really like. Uh, any other yeah. ones? Uh, for now, I don't know. Because we still I mean, got a bunch of shirts, like, already. Yeah. They just start out with... Um, let's see, pants. This is Old why you pants. guys should suggest things in the thread, because I suck at shopping. Old school pants is just a slightly different shade of blue, and also the straps he's got are black instead of red. So I think we'll skip yeah, those. I don't, I don't like it at all, actually. Uh, old school. No. Just a slightly different color. Nah. They, they fulfilled my wishes. I can buy wristbands. Yes! Yeah! Um. No, the new ones are an improvement on everything except the jacket and only because the front is too closed yep um i guess i'll get the wristbands it also gives you us gives us a singular glove just one just one glove don't care about belts i don't care about either of those belts i don't care about those belts either shoes i like his old shoes better yeah these ones okay. just look they just look like sandals yeah, buy, buy the those, shoes. Save the give, rest of your money for, uh... Give me those sneakers. Yep. Actually, there's one other thing that has physics in the game. It's his coat. It's his jacket. Oh, uh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Spin the loading icon. If you spin it fast enough, you kind of get to see his whole face, so there is a reason, I yeah. guess. Uh, let's see, Naomi's lab. Naomi's lab is why I always tried to play this game alone. <laughs> when, did, I, when I was home alone, also, did, all the cutscenes. Did your fiancé ever seen, see this embarrassing room? I don't know if she saw this room. She definitely saw the game a few times. I got some looks. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing you hid this room. Also, Travis has a new motorcycle for this game. The Spell Tiger from the first game is being repaired because he broke it at the end, I guess. So you never get to drive the sweet one. It's been under repair for three years. I think he broke it again more recently. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Naomi. Oh, God. Don't stand up. Oh, good. The dialogue. Okay. I'd rather she stand up than the camera hover over her from above. That's true. No, don't sit. Ah, uh, okay. Boing, boing, boing. Well, she does the same thing as the first game. She sells you beam katanas. Next and one though is fifty thousand. We are too cheap. We're too cheap. I'm sorry, Naomi. Goodbye. You shouldn't have bought them shoes. Oh well. Also, apparently Naomi's in her sixties. That's what the instruction manual says. Yeah, okay. Instruction manuals say a lot of things, okay? Yeah. The instruction manual for the first Super Mario Brothers used to claim that the, uh... The, the question mark blocks were, were petrified dead people from the Mushroom Kingdom or something like that, so... Yeah. Let's go to the gym! Let's work out. Let's beef up. Let's get huge. I don't like your sign, Ryan. I love it. <laughs> like, if you've never played this game before, as soon as you see that sign, you know what's around the corner. Yeah. Hello, Ryan. Let's not talk to you for a second. This Break is... down. This is, um... Well, first of all, I think Travis is a vampire and also Ryan, because they have no reflection. <laughs> That's not actually a mirror. No. Oh, it's okay. a mural. Yeah. This is actually the same gym from the first game in a different camera angle. You can actually see that poster of the lady with the giant kiss lips on it in the reflection. Well, when when your mentor died, I, I guess his ghost just got tired of sitting around. Yeah. And sold the place. Can you I... sell real estate as a ghost? I don't know. 
He was still running the place as a ghost for a while. Unless, like, Ryan exercised him. Hi, Ryan. Well, did he exercise him or did he exercise him? I think he ex exorcised him. Okay. I don't know, can you just exercise with ghosts so hard that they just disappear? Well, I mean, if you're in a gym, what else are you gonna do? Yeah. Oh, these are hard. Not really, they get hard. Well, they get hard. They aren't hard to begin. Like the the last, uh... Muscle? Stamina one. Yeah, the last muscle one. Oh, God. Yeah. This one trips people up because they're kind of stupid and not paying attention. Yeah, he doesn't—he doesn't outright tell you that you can change direction, so they just immediately run off the uh, treadmill. But you just have to alternate button presses to keep running. Yeah. It's pretty uh, easy at first. You can fall off either way, but doing so, you fail. Yep. You have to pay again to try again. Yep. Pretty easy. And that was the stamina, so when you finish it, your max health increases. These aren't nearly as fun as, like, the job minigames. Yeah. They're more like things that would be minigames in an NES game than, like... Right. While, while the jobs play more like a full NES game. Yeah. Party time. At Vine's place. I don't... I th I still sort of have fun with with this one, the muscle one. Yeah. The treadmill one's just pretty simple. But he throws weights at you if they're above. You have to punch him away. If he throws them low, then you gotta kick him. And the really nice thing about this is it uses the same punch and kick buttons as regular combat. Yep. And you gotta dodge his kisses. You don't have to be perfect, but you have to be kind of close, oh, especially hell. with the big ones. Yep, the big ones are random. Yeah, they either go above or below. And here's the annoying thing. Um, you win the muscle training based on like a percentage of how many weights you've hit, but the big weights are worth three weights. And if you get hit by just that one weight, it counts as enough, like your percentage is low enough that you lose and you have to do it again. So you can do perfectly and get hit by the last weight. Whoops, gotta do it again. That's why muscle training blows. Yep. The later ones are actually a little bit more forgiving, because you can get hit by more weights, because he throws more weights total. It's kind of silly. Although they, they do get trickier patterns. Yeah. As it goes on. Oh, and also weights thrown with variable speeds. Oh, those are nuts. Oh, yeah. Like, these are all going at the same rate, and that makes it easy to time. Right. There we go. Uh, oh. That final weight always makes me a little nervous. You can time how much lag we're having on the stream by, uh, <laughs> that second <laughs> in between our reactions. It's not that much. It's not. Well, that's it for Ryan right now. Uh, when you finish muscle training, it just makes your attacks hit harder. Yum, -dum. I like how much stuff there is to do, and, you know, I never, like, tried a weakling run, but I don't think you really... Like, if you're good enough at the game... Yeah, you, you don't really need to upgrade It's unnecessary, your... really. Yeah, you don't... I think upgrading your health is still... Maybe not necessary, yeah. but still pretty good. But you don't really need to upgrade. The only thing you really need to upgrade, though, is your sword, and that's mostly for for battery life. Yep. Well, we got money. Let's feed our cat. I'm gonna feed the hell out of that cat. Wait, trash. Ugh. Yes. Wait, more. Oh God, I can't wrangle. More trash. Uh, uh. I like that Cat. fish. That's a nice fish. Cat, clean this up, please. 
Your cat is too fat to clean, that's why you need <sighs> to massage her. Damn it. Well, okay, let's feed her premium food so she's at five cat heads. Oh, it's actually four cat heads, never mind. Oh well. So is premium food healthier? I don't know. You'd think a fat cat would be most health, like, happiest with really yeah. shitty food. Like, yeah, it's all cholesterol and it tastes delicious. Just salt and grease and ah. Oh. oh, right. Anyways. That's how I am, anyway. <laughs> cat massage is the best minigame in the game, and it's also the one I'm the best at. Here I go. I'm gonna massage the hell out of this cat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Sorry, the stick clacked so hard, but. No, uh, the massage is just that intense. That's the way it's gotta be. Ugh. You sound like a pot of dolphins communicating. I am a cat massaging machine! Holy Thir shit! That was 39. I vaporized over a pound off this cat. By rubbing Are you its gonna stomach. break 40 by the end of this LP? Is that a goal? I think so, yeah. Let's see if I can hit 40. Also, let's with cat jump, I've gotten close but never been able to do it. I almost got the total jump height over a thousand a thousand feet. Shit, man. You have to get like perfect timing in every single jump, because there there just isn't enough time. Yeah. Yeah, but this cat is probably like steaming right now. <laughs> All the fat is just lifting up into the air, just vaporized. <laughs> There's a huge puddle of grease underneath the cat where you <laughs> squeeze the fat out. Let's look at the other shirts, because we can actually see them now. Well, we got... we got anime shirt. You no, know, on my stream it looks a lot like the My Little Pony cast. Let's... oh, it does when I... yeah, when I look at the stream it kind of does. Yeah. Uh, numbers? Yeah, I love numbers. Uh, a guy. Adding machines are the shit, yo. Yeah. Um, I have no idea what this actually is. It's supposed to be a series of three pictures, but it's so small I can't tell what. It's gonna be one of those things that really get appreciated when you play this on Dolphin. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Paint splatters, those are artistic, right? Dots? I don't even know. It says squad. <laughs> The I'm really ring. glad that like they, they actually got designs for the game and didn't do like product placement or anything. Right. I appreciate that. Like even like really cool products and actual t-shirts would be kind of out of place for this game and right. what it's about. Yeah. Well, I guess we just keep wearing panda shirt. Perfect. Panda shirt is perfect, Travis. Panda shirt is pretty great. Look at his creepy. Where do you even get luchador hug pillows, body pillows? Is that a luchador? I, it looks like I a Ty Bo instructor. Uh, he's it. I, yeah, it's a luchador. He's got like a like a belt, and he's got wearing like a. I need to cuddle Billy Blanks at night. <laughs> it's like a tiger head he's wearing or something. You ever do Ty Bo? That shit'll fuck you up. I haven't. It's intense. It's pretty intense. Huh. Intense. Intense saving. Here I go. I'm saving. 